Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're joining us and wherever you are joining us from, welcome to anybulldog.com. A question we get asked pretty often is, are English bulldogs dangerous? When we come down the street with Daisy, people often shy away and they'll either cross the street or just avoid us altogether, step off the sidewalk until we pass, but Daisy means no harm. She is just excited to see people and she comes on a little strong. Look at this bulldog right here. She's not gonna hurt anybody, huh Daisy? She just wants to be their friend. Hi Daisy. Not today. Daisy's not the best YouTube star. She has no interest in being in my videos. Daisy can be a little bit more aggressive towards men. We don't know if she's had a problem with men in her past, but that's generally who she gets nervous around. I think bulldogs kind of get a bad rap because of their fighting past. They were bull baiters. They were fighters. That's, they were bred to be aggressive and take down bulls that are 10 times their size. Um, but over time, these fierce dogs have been bred into a loyal, soft, cuddly companion dog. However, it's hard to fully breed out that trait. So it's important that bulldogs are socialized at a young age. And they, bulldogs are very protective of their owners and they are very loyal. And the only time that you will see a bulldog get aggressive is if they feel threatened. It's important to socialize your bulldog from a very young age. Now, if you have an older bulldog, this is gonna be a little bit harder. Like we got Daisy when she was four and a half years old and we've had a hard time teaching her not to jump, not to run up to people, not to, you know, all the things that make people nervous. So while Bulldogs are generally pretty docile and kind and just want to be people's friends, here are three socialization tips. First, never show aggression towards a Bulldog. That'll bring out their fighting genes. When you're training them, when you're teaching them, correcting poor behavior, use a firm but calm voice. Usually this sounds like when we're passing somebody on the sidewalk that she's excited to see or getting a little bit more aggressive for, like if it's a man, say, Daisy, leave it. But I don't show aggression. I don't hit her. I use a firm voice, but it is low and it is calm and I am not yelling at her or showing anger towards her. I am just showing dominance. Second, if you get a bulldog puppy, start socializing them around young kids and strangers as young as you can. And the other thing is to teach the children that your bulldog is going to be around the most to treat them kindly. Don't hit, don't lay on top of them. Bulldogs can't use their voice. Bulldogs can't tell you to step away. They'll usually show that they're annoyed or want you to stop by nipping. And that is not the bulldog's fault. That is simply how they communicate and you can't blame your bulldog for that. That's your child that needs to learn too. So get them around each other and really teach both the child and the bulldog how to act around one another. Third is teach them not to jump on people. They are stronger than they know. They can easily knock down an elderly person or a young child. I have a six-year-old who she can knock over pretty easily if we're not careful. So one suggestion that I have to teach them not to jump, invite your friends over who aren't afraid of dogs, have them knock at the door and practice this all day. You know, have a family member that would be okay and invite them all over. And when they come, teach them to wait and to sit till they are greeted because no one wants a bulldog jumping on them and barking in their face when they walk in the door, it's just overwhelming and not not very welcoming. And it's, it's a little intimidating to have this really strong dog jump up in your face. So those are my three tips. Remember that English Bulldogs, 
they are generally pretty harmless, but you still have to take some precautions to make sure that they are properly socialized. And with older Bulldogs, it's going to take a little bit more work since they're a little bit more set in their ways and Bulldogs are already stubborn. In fact, I took Daisy on a walk the other day and we were passing a man just asked about Daisy, asked me how old she was and she, he said, oh, we lost our Bulldog. Um, couple months ago but they had brought home a new bulldog and he said you know these are great pets stubborn but great pets so teaching your bulldog socializing an older bulldog is going to be difficult but you can do it and you'll definitely want to do it to make sure you have no accidents with your bulldog so for more tips you can visit us at anybulldog.com the article, Are Bulldogs Dangerous? And you'll find more tips there, more information there. Like this video and subscribe for more Bulldog Love. Thanks for watching, bye.